So, when was the last time you played ranked mode in Crunker? Uh, it's probably been a while, if ever. Uh, let's be honest, the game is mostly played in random lobbies and customs at this point. But what if Crunker did have a ranked scene? Uh, something that you were excited to play in? What if you logged in each day and said to yourself, Man, I can't wait to grind some ranked. Uh, let's talk about that and how it would happen. If you're new to the channel, what's cracking? Uh, my name is Honest, and I've started Crunker in July of 2020, which at this point is about two months ago. Uh, but I've been hooked from that point on. I've played competitively in a ton of different FPS games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Overwatch, Valorant, Apex Legends. But I've hung up my tournament hat to stream and just have a good time now. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. If you want to see notifications when I put out something new, just Make sure you hit that subscribe bell, as we all know at this point. And feel free to stop by my stream. I'm live seven days a week, 12 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But let's get into the content for today, which is Ranked Mode and Crunker. As of right now, there's two Ranked Modes in Crunker and three options for queuing, which is for solo queue, you can either play one versus one on a small map called Shipyard. And for duos and quad queues, players can fight for dominance on points throughout certain maps in a mode called hard point. Uh, for winning these modes, a player's rank will increase, but they're not given currency or experience for playing. My argument against these modes is that they don't represent Crunker as a game. The game is far too class-based for 1v1s, and hard point is a bit too stop and go to represent the overall game. As I said in other videos, Crunker is all about fast-paced movement and accuracy with the predominant game mode in unranked lobbies where the majority of the player base spends its time being free for all. With that in mind, rank should be a competitive spin on the most common game mode. That makes sense and that's what we see in other games like Counter-Strike, Overwatch, and Teamfight Tactics. In my mind, Teamfight Tactics has the best system to emulate in Crunker. You have eight players enter a free for all match and at the end of the match, the top four players gain rank and the bottom four lose rank. The farther away from the middle two players that you are, the more that your rank is impacted one way or another. While this system would cater more to solo queue, I believe that for duo and quad queues, Capture the Flag would be a much better representation of the game than Hardpoint. Capture the Flag is fast paced and has more strategies that teams can implement than Hardpoint. Where in Hardpoint the prevailing team attempts to camp an objective and capture the flag, the entire team can move as one, or they could have some stragglers that are set behind to defend. And you have you have benefits and drawbacks to different strategies you use. And those strategies have counters by the other team, but it's no longer class-based, and it's no longer uh, a sit and wait type of game. If one team decides to send their entire force to attack, the other team can shift their strategies and do the same, grab the flag, and then you have a fight in the middle or along the path. It's a much more interesting game mode to watch and to play, which is a huge thing when you're discussing esports, which Crunker has begun to implement. Players don't want to see a game mode being played in competitive that they don't really play themselves. Now, if Crunker implements this game mode, we need people to show up. That means, unlike the current system, KR and experience should be given for playing ranked matches. This would entice the advanced players to play ranked, while the players who are still getting their feet wet in the game would be able to have less stressful lobby scenarios as they play. Many new players don't make it far in Crunker because they get pub stomped to oblivion the second they join by veteran players who are looking for double, sometimes even triple nukes. Ranked would be a natural way to separate these two groups of players. So now we get to the elephant in the room. Hackers. They're all over ranked currently. And yes, it is something that makes the rank system uh, something that many people don't want to play. This is a big issue, since the current solo queue mode, which is the most popular model, forces players into 1v1 situations with a potential hacker. If ranked was a free-for-all model, the other 7 players would be able to call into the KPD and still earn points, where in the previous model it was simply a win or a loss. And that brings me to how the KPD could be much more impactful. If ranked encouraged more players to play, it would chum the waters for hackers. What would be a wise decision by the devs of Crunker would be to put the KPD calls from ranked matches in an elevated priority level. 
This way more hackers would be found, and they're forced to stay in the lobby or they abandon the match. And if they abandon the match, they should be uh, placed into the lowest position in the rank, so they lose the most rank, and they're placed into a ban from rank for a certain amount of time, which grows each time they do it. That's a similar model to any ranked game out there right now that's doing well. League of Legends, Apex, Valorant, you name it. And if they stay, of course, it's going to be easier to catch them for the KPD, which is a big issue that they're facing right now. Everybody's leaving lobbies as soon as they're reported or as soon as someone goes into the spectate mode. So with that, that's pretty much all I had to say uh, about the rank system. I'd be stoked if this made it all the way up to the developers, since strong ranking systems are very important for a game's development. I see the attempts at flushing out Crunker Esports currently, and this would be the best first step in my mind. Feel free to drop a comment about your thoughts on Crunker Ranked, or stop by my stream and tell me more. But until then, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!